Welcome to our webinar, Diploma in Digital Marketing. And we're going to be looking at how the Diploma in Digital Marketing can help your business and also help advance your career. My name is Dawn McGrewer. I am the director here at Business Consort, the Digital and Social Media Academy. Um, I'm also the course tutor for all our courses and the consultant uh, for all digital marketing activities. So why is um, the, the diploma so important? Well, one of the key things um, it's important to understand is that the future is digital. Digital marketing has evolved from a peripheral element of organizational marketing to one which is at the hub of customer-centric communications in an increasingly multi-channel environment. And gaining a digital qualification ensures you're equipped to deal with this shift and make the most of the new business opportunity you offer. One of the things I want to uh, really kind of focus on today is the fact that um, when we uh, look for anything now on the web, um, we always go to a search engine. But taking that even further, we know that 75% of transactions originate from search engine. So gone are the days where we pick up things like yellow pages, etc. So even if we're looking for something you know, offline, um, we will go onto a search engine and find that product or service. So if your business is not on the first page, you're seriously going to be missing out. And one of the things with digital marketing is because uh, we are uh, using digital uh, network devices uh, in our everyday lives, there's pretty much nobody who hasn't got access to the internet uh, worldwide. We've got 645 million live websites worldwide, so highly competitive market. And one of the things that uh, people often um, suffer from is, is low web traffic. We instantly think, you know, as soon as we put a website live, uh, that we're going to get this instant visibility. But if our website isn't ranking on the first page and isn't visible in the search engines, it's impossible to try and get traffic and compete against other people. So. What is every company's aim? Well, when we look at what every business in the world, regardless of industry or sector, we're all looking to do the same thing. We're all looking to increase customer base, average order value, and purchase frequency. So how can digital marketing help achieve this goal? Well, ultimately, we all want more web traffic, whether we're an e-commerce site or a service-based industry. The more traffic we get, the more visibility. Scalar probability means that we're going to get more revenue, more engagement. So when we look at digital marketing, every single business really should be in the digital marketing uh, arena. And what we're looking to do is gain engagement. So with the emergence of things like Web2, businesses have gained this two-way communication. And websites went from um, very static, uh, one-way uh, tools to being interactive. So your customers and prospects can do things on the site, they can communicate, they can talk to you, which has opened up a whole new type of relationship. Now, an interesting thing to look at is when 25 of the world's biggest brands are searched for, 75% of those click-throughs are to user-generated content, so such as like forums and social networks. So, if we look at where consumers are, we're very savvy and we want uh, to be able to find things quickly, fast. Uh, we want answers. We want people to uh, answer a question immediately. We, we don't uh, maybe want to wait for someone to email us back. We might want to do live chat, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a whole new type of diversity that's opened up businesses. But when we look at what consumers' views are, 76% of consumers don't believe web copy. So even though we're all competing to get sort of web traffic and get our business out there, we know that people are also uh, interacting with their peers and trusted figures within social networks for opinions on products and services and brands. So a classic example of this is things like TripAdvisor. We would rather go on and believe 10 random strangers on TripAdvisor than actually believe the hotel themselves. So having a web presence is not enough anymore. We, we are looking for more and more information. We want to investigate our purchase decisions and we want to find out from people. So we're looking for things like referrals. We want to see what the user uh, um, says about the product. So people like Amazon have been early adopters of user-generated content because people can go on, review products and services and have their say. So 
The importance of user-generated content. Well, user-generated content of, so, uh, of social media has become the new currency, so the gold in social media. And the importance of user-generated content in the world of marketing, branding, and advertising is its capacity to influence purchase decisions, brand affinity, and brand loyalty. So, does digital marketing reach the right demographic? Well, some businesses have been late adopters into getting into digital marketing because maybe they're more traditional. But even people like solicitors who have been slow on the uptake have really managed to sort of get a, a benefit from it because they've had to get involved with things like social media because Facebook uh, was cited as an official source of evidence for divorce cases because it's got a nice, clean audit trail. So a lot of the, the sectors that we, we look at and, and probably presume are quite traditional have all joined into the digital era. And 10 years ago, less than a million people were on the social web. And today, we've got estimated 1 billion. So we use search engines for everything. And multi-channel marketing is the key to every business. We're not just using one tool to market. And we're not just using traditional methods now. We're using things uh, online all the time. And we spend the majority of our working day on a laptop, on a desktop, using the web. Searches on mobiles and other networked uh, devices are actually higher than on desktop. So we can see the shift moving more and more. People are doing things on the go. They, you know, even when they're commuting, they can actually access the information that they want to find. So, when we look at the demographic and the, the average age distribution across social networks, it's very interesting to see that a lot of people's perception is probably that 18 to 24 is the biggest user group. Well, actually, the fastest growing group of people is actually 35 to 54. And that is because we've seen it being used in um, elections, we see on the TV, we're now using it in businesses, and people are actually seeing the revenue benefits of digital marketing and social media. So if we're in any doubt about how important digital marketing is, let's have a look at this um, uh, picture here. We've got everything that happens on the internet in 60 seconds, so in one minute. It's quite staggering when we see that the, today the number of network devices is equal to the global population. But by 2015, the number of network devices will be twice that. So there is no doubt where, um, obviously, digital marketing is going and that um, people are actually getting very much involved in it. But when we look at the tools here and the, the different channels and networks, we've got LinkedIn, 100 uh, new LinkedIn accounts in 60 seconds. But when we look at things like YouTube, we know that video is one of the most successful types of digital marketing. You've got 1.3 million video views in 60 seconds. Google, over 2 million search queries. Twitter, 100,000 new tweets. So there is no doubt that people are, are using it and adopting digital marketing within their strategies for their business, but they're also seeing success from it. So when we look at the CAM deployment digital marketing, why would a digital qualification help your career in business? Well, we know um, of the stats that were launched this year that it's the number one qualification sought by employers because it's a worldwide recognized academic qualification, number one. But this dynamic qualification will provide you with knowledge underpinning the principles of digital marketing and skills to undertake digital marketing planning. So why do employers want it so much? Well, because digital marketing is the, the, the center focus of what we are doing in every business. We can deploy digital marketing very quickly, very cost effectively, and we can recognize a return on that investment very quickly, which is very, very important in the economic climate. Businesses are having to do more work and they're having to do more multi-channel marketing to reach that broader audience to get the level of business that they require. So who is it for? Well, it's for anyone involved in business development or a sales related role, marketing professionals, or those wanting to work into marketing. Often with roles now in a business, we've started off in one department and our role has evolved into encompassing some form of marketing. So no matter what your role in the company is, you'll benefit from gaining an insight into today's digital era, arena. So do you qualify? Well, one of the, the biggest things is some people have not got any formal qualifications. Uh, maybe marketing is brand new to them. 
But what we're looking for with candidates is super, suitable competence in marketing and marketing communications role. So some understanding of uh, where marketing is, and uh, obviously most people have kind of dabbled in social media, maybe on a personal level. So an understanding that would help them actually uh, get in involved in the digital uh, marketing qualification uh, could be something like having a, a degree, any degree or equivalent level five qualification, um, have a relevant three or above qualification. So things like CRM professional certificate. So we review candidates one by one and we look at the job role, we look at competencies, so that there's no point doing um, something like the diploma if you haven't got some form of knowledge. So quite often we may sort of get people to do things like digital marketing courses and bite-sized one hour online before they do it. But the majority of candidates have got um, an understanding because we're all using the web. So what are you going to learn? Well, these are the key elements of uh, the tools that most businesses are using. There's still a lot of businesses out there who are not recognizing these to their full uh, potential because the biggest gap is resource. People often think digital marketing and social media, they're going to have to plow a huge amount of resource, time and money. And, and you know that is not the case. If you learn these principles, what we, the diploma actually does is shows you practical tools um, that you can use just to make it more efficient and more effective. So we're looking at sort of on-the-job learning. So you're applying these principles back. So when we look at things like search engine optimization, we know that, that it's key because we need to appear in search engines. Now, with search engine optimization, it's one of those gray areas. People often think, you know, you have to be a technical uh, whiz kid to, to actually implement these strategies. It is not the case because there's so many different things that are encompassed in search engine optimization and things that we can do, things like pay-per-click advertising to appear in the search engines. Also things like online advertising. We've seen a, a huge uh, growth in things like LinkedIn advertising because it's a very trusted network, it's business orientated. And we use our LinkedIn advertising a lot. I, mean, I get 80% of my meetings through LinkedIn. Um, Email marketing is a key tool, and things like viral marketing. Online PR is becoming more and more important when we look at things like content marketing strategies, which really help knock the competition off that first page. So it's not just appearing on that first page, it's being visible and also having the competitive advantage so that someone will go and click on your link opposed to one of your competitors. And content marketing can really help that. Things like affiliate marketing are big business because we need to get to more and more people to get the level of business we want. So why not have you know, 20 other people selling in products and services? We look at how to set up affiliate schemes and, and how to sort of engage brand loyalty. Social media marketing, well, a lot of people are still maybe not sure whether social media marketing is for them. But what we will do is we'll show you the risks and the benefits and things about how to engage with your audience, but also things like brand reputation and managing that through. So any adverse PR, how do you handle it? So we take you through the whole process, but also the practicalities of how to use the tools. Uh, we also ensure that there's an understanding of digital metrics, because as with any type of marketing, digital marketing, we, we set off with an objective. We need to know uh, something to measure against, and we need to know whether we're being successful with our efforts. So we show you tools and how to set them up to monitor performance and to build on the success of your campaigns, as well as looking at things like the legislation, reputation and codes of practice, which is key to any business. So this is kind of a little bit of a picture of everything that you'd be learning. So if you look at the, the center, you've got here your, your website, that's the goal. We're looking to drive more traffic. But we also look at uh, things like the benefits of online versus traditional methods because we're not looking to dispense with traditional methods we're just looking to optimize on the digital opportunities out there some businesses may still be using things like the offline communications like sales promotion PR sponsorship personal selling word of mouth packaging or direct mail uh, even exhibitions are, are still wide, widely used you know within business so we'll be looking at things like search marketing online PR, online partnerships, viral marketing, opt-in email, and interactive ads. So it's very important to see also how 
online and offline interact because someone might go onto your website but then maybe calls you or sets up a meeting with you. So there's always a constant shift between online and offline advertising. So one of the key processes that's covered in the diploma is looking at things like the seven P's. It's very important to look at place, price, promotion, people, processes, physical environment and product. So we take you through the whole aspect of how to reach your target market using digital marketing. And we look at all the things that can impact on reaching the target market. And we really want to focus on how to use these um, processes and the seven P's to get uh, more, obviously, traffic. But ultimately, we're all looking to make more money. So how long is the course and how much time do you need to allocate? Well, normally students will complete the syllabus um, in about 12 weeks if you allocate about 90 minutes a week to do the bite-sized tutorials. You'll need additional time to kind of read around the, the topics that you're studying and look at the resources and things that we give you. And we'll also give you things like case studies and videos to really kind of help um, instill the message. And you can see practical examples. So we use brands that you'll be familiar with so that you can see how digital marketing campaigns can work. And they'll often inspire you to kind of go off and do your own campaigns. So the last aspect is also there is no exam with the CAM Digital uh, Marketing Diploma. But what we do is coursework. But the great thing with the coursework is it's very much on the job learning because the coursework relates back to your own business. So it could be things like uh, designing a flyer, uh, maybe uh, redesigning a web page, it could be uh, writing a digital marketing plan or implementing social media marketing. So these are all the things that you can do, but you can actually use them back in your business. And the great thing I think with the diploma is the fact that with people's schedules now, we're all running around, we're all very busy. Well, the diploma is delivered completely online. But the thing is, is we have uh, recognized the fact that people find it hard to uh, come on a webinar every week at a specific time because meetings change, they've got to travel. So it's fully on demand, which means that you can learn any time you want. You can just log in, do the bite-sized tutorials in any order you want. And you've got direct access with myself, who's the course tutor. So there's also discussions going in there, there's quizzes, there's polls, it's very interactive. And we can sort of support you because we can see how you're getting on with your studies, how much time um, you've allocated, if you're falling behind a bit. And we're there also to ask questions. In the community, if you're watching a video, you can type a question to me and I can communicate live directly back to you. There's also an array of downloadable, uh, downloadable course materials and also uh, videos and tips um, that we put in there for you. Uh, all you need is basically access to a computer or any network device. And we've also designed an app, so you can actually download the learning community onto your iPhone or uh, wh whatever network device you've got, and you can do this on the go. Quite often people will maybe do the commute and listen to a video, type questions back and forward, and, and keep the learning process going. So basically you can study from anywhere and you can fit it around your schedule. Um, what happens with the course is as soon as you enroll, you gain access to the community, so there's no specific start time. Uh, as I said, the syllabus normally takes about 12 weeks to complete. And you can start your coursework whenever you want. Um, you're, basically, what you're aiming for is the submissions are quarterly to the CIM. Um, we basically will send off the coursework for you. Uh, they will mark it every quarter, so you've got March, June, September, December, etc. Then you'll get your results back and you will have your diploma. So Business Consort, um, as you know, we are the Digital and Social Media Academy. But the most important thing to understand is we're accredited and monitored by the Chartered Institute of Marketing. So we have to have study center reviews. We also get feedback um, from students um, and we have to report that directly to the CIM. So why choose our study center? Well, we're accredited, as you know. Um, we're offering the, the, the qualification, um, which is obviously regulated by the CIM. We've been going over eight years, um, and we've trained thousands of businesses. So we're training business people all the time, and we're actually using digital and social media in a daily sort of activity for our business. And we've achieved a 99% satisfaction score throughout, and we are, as I say, monitored and regulated. And we offer um, the, the diploma, um, obviously through the online learning community, but we're the only study centre with the CIM. 
who deliver it fully online and through the on-demand uh, learning community, which is fully interactive. We're also the most cost-effective option. Um, because it's delivered fully online and on-demand, we can offer it um, at a very competitive price, which is 649 So this, this is basically your tuition fee, um, and you can uh, purchase this uh, online on our website or obviously um, through the offices. One thing to consider, though, is there is a couple of other fees. In order to take a qualification, you need to become a studying member of the Tartan Institute of Marketing, which is £140 per year. The great thing with this is you get a login to the CIM website, which has additional resources. You get a marketing magazine, events that the CIM hosts, etc. The assessment fees, well, there's three modules within the diploma, and they're broken down um, into uh, assessment, assessment fees of £85. So you may need to buy relevant textbooks if you want to, but we do supply all of those digitally. So how are you assessed? Well, as I said, you, you complete three modules, which is digital marketing essentials, digital marketing planning, and marketing and consumer behavior. So if any of you have um, completed any of these modules before, you can apply for an exemption for that module, which will uh, obviously reduce the cost. So who's your course tutor? Well, it's myself, Dawn McGrewer. Um, I have over 10 years practical experience uh, running digital marketing agencies and businesses. Uh, I'm also a fellow of the Royal Society um, of Arts and I was invited as recognition of my expertise in the field of social media marketing uh, with my work to raise awarenesses of the advantages of social media to business owners. So what support will you receive? Well, you can contact your course tutor, tutor direct uh, via the free phone, also through the learning community, you can send us emails and ask questions. But the other thing is you've also got the support of the other people who are on the course too. So you can network with the, your other studying peers. And the thing is, is you're not alone through any of this process. So how do you get more from the diploma qualification? Well, continuing professional development, which is CPD, is hugely important as knowledge quickly becomes out of date, so it keeps you constantly studying. Upon completing the diploma, you'll get 35 hours of these. So you can start looking at perhaps maybe becoming chartered marketeer status. And it also proves your ongoing commitment to your current or potential employers. And in turn, if you require things like indemnity insurance, you can get very large discounts. So benefits of digital marketing diploma, where well, you get ahead of the competition, you're going to be applying new knowledge, which is actually going to impact on the business. The number of applicants um, for nationally advertised marketing jobs in the UK regularly hits 500. So to get that competitive advantage, um, if you're applying for a new job, obviously it shows your commitment to progressing your marketing career and gives you the main trends uh, of the online marketing arena and keeps you up to date. And staff with CIM qualifications are valued more by employers and, and on average earn more. So that was a study that was carried out by the CIM. So um, hopefully most of you now understand the, the benefits of digital marketing, why the digital marketing arena is so key for your business. So if there's any questions, obviously feel free to contact us. Our web address is here and we've got the free phone telephone number. So, Thanks very much for listening to today's webinar and uh, we hope uh, that you have uh, a future in digital marketing and um, all the success in the business that you can apply um, through the diploma. Uh, obviously, you, know, you can read more on the, the website. Thanks very much.